Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kyiv, Ukraine originally. I was residing in Lisbon, Portugal for quite some time during the war that it's pretty much still happening. And now I'm actually back in Kyiv, which I couldn't be happier about. I'm so, so incredibly happy to be here. Uh, we're in our home now, actually, and this is going to be our permanent location for shootings, etc. Because we're back for good here, and um, I'm just so happy. I, I think you can totally see on my face, and I know there could be some questions regarding, like, there's still war happening, and how can you come back to a place where the war is still happening? And my answer to you is this: I feel much safer better psychologically, emotionally, physically here than in any other place I've been to for the last seven months. That's that's pretty much it. So this is the place we're going to be creating a lot of content for you guys. And also we have a very cool news for you is that we've just rented out a new office space, a beautiful office space, which we'll be renovating for the next month or so. And you're going to see a lot of content from that place as well once it's done. So while it's being done, we're going to be shooting from here, from our apartment, which is I miss it so much. It's so beautiful. I cannot say enough beautiful words about this place. And now we're, we're in this like office space in our apartment. And the topic for today's video is going to be main shoot trends for this season. So for fall, but also partially for the next season, which is kind of winter and the transitional period between them. And before that, I just want to say that also, always make sure to comment down below the topics that you think would be relevant for this channel and you think would be relevant for you, you want to see on this channel. I'll try my best just to fulfill your wishes. And also let me know in the comments below maybe like the new topics you would like to see on this channel, maybe some things about Kyiv or Ukraine in general you would like to see in regards to fashion. So what I was thinking, and this is just a huge intro for this video, so I'm really sorry for dragging this out, but I was thinking some fashion excursions in Kyiv, specifically in different beautiful spaces and also some fashion brands that are here in Kyiv and a lot of Ukrainian brands are staying here in Kyiv and producing here in Kyiv still even during the war which is absolutely incredible so what I was thinking actually is to make some like a, like a series here on this channel taking you with me to different beautiful brand spaces showing the collection trying them on explaining the reasoning behind the collection also maybe introducing Introducing some designers from Ukraine, etc., etc. Maybe also doing an excursion of my favorite places, like coffee spaces, etc., etc., or like some beauty routine from here in Kiev, and like all the other stuff you think would be relevant for this channel and for you specifically. You would like to see on this channel? Comment down below, and uh, I'll try my best just to do whatever you want and what I feel comfortable with as well. And obviously, since we're here and we're filming here, I'll be including some snippets of this beautiful apartment of ours in this video. And uh, also there's going to be a next video, which is a bag collection of mine, which is very pretty much one of the most requested videos on this channel up to date. And that is going to be featuring a bit of uh, my closet, walk-in closet, which I absolutely love and I was missing so much. So without further ado, let's just start over for the shoe trends for fall 2022. And uh, this one's pretty exciting, actually, because I just absolutely love fall for all the fashion reasons that could be, because it's about layering, it's about like a, at least more layers than one, which is usually the case, not the case in summer. During the summer, it's like the least layers you can wear, the better. And over here, it, specifically in Kiev, the weather in here is just perfect for fall trends and for fall weather, for fall styling, etc, etc. And the first trends, the first trend for fall, for shoe trends is uh, over the knee boots. And over the knee boots are absolutely everywhere. They've been here a couple of years ago and they were paired mostly with like skinny jeans, not even a couple of years ago, let's just say it was five years ago. And back then they were paired with 
Olivia Palermo style skinny jeans tucked in those boots and also like a cape or a an oversized sweater and now what you pair them with is actually you tuck these boots like huge overhanging boots into a long maxi or midi straight skirt you tuck them under a dress so you don't necessarily show them off completely and that's not like the style of the season or the styling trick for these boots of the season but mostly you just know that they're there and one way to show them off actually is to pair them with one more trendy piece of the season this being a mini skirt and the look for it not to be too sexual it has to have something pretty relaxed and oversized and i would go for like a long sleeve this is a cost long sleeve, absolutely love them. Affordable, beautiful, quality pieces, go with everything. And an oversized blazer, for example. And therefore, you would have this balance of different styles and shapes. And the look is going to be more muted and not too sexual because a mini skirt paired with a over-the-knee boot is pretty sexy in itself. So to tone it down just a little bit, you need something oversized. Also, this could be paired with, uh, for example, like a huge jumper, a huge knit, a huge cardigan, something manly, something masculine, something oversized, something that's going to balance out the style and the sexiness and tone it down just a little bit. The next trend for shoes for this season is knee-high boots, and specifically knee-high boots that look like something that came out of the 90s and those knee-high boots are like the, the inspiration behind this trend is actually rooted in the 90s and specifically in those model of duty looks and the specific look I'm thinking about is Christy Turlington and she wore this like lightweight knee length skirt and uh, like a cardigan worn as a top and these boots and this was so effortless and beautiful and it was paired with like a simple structured bag and therefore created this like effortless nonchalant look and this is the way to go actually because specifically knee length skirts are very in at the moment straight knee length skirts body hugging knee length skirts so all of them are absolutely trendy so what you would do and what i would suggest going for is for example this kind of a skirt then this boot and then something maybe oversized but also could be something fitted just like christy turlington did because the look is going to be at least just a little bit relaxed because of the shapes and forms in this look so you don't need necessarily something very oversized up top unless you want to but also you can always go for like an oversized blazer a um like a shirt and then this kind of a body hugging skirt to balance it out and these boots but also these boots could be worn with jeans under jeans over jeans also with skinny jeans i would not necessarily say that skinny jeans are absolutely out you can totally if you have skinny i that's what i would say hear me out i would not necessarily say buy skinny jeans asap i would say if you have them, you can definitely still wear them and you could have been wearing them all this time long. It's just only about the specific things you pair them with for them to look stylish and in or kind of trendy or like inside geisty at the moment. And what I would pair them with in this case is actually these knee-high boots because therefore you would be able to create a more relaxed look and up top this could be an oversized jumper a long sleeve and an oversized jacket so i would always at the moment at least i would definitely go for something oversized with skinny jeans for the look not to look kind of outdated or 2008e the next trend for shoes is low heel loafers, but specifically heel loafers. That's the thing I'm stressing right now, and I cannot stress this enough. So not just like your simple, like relaxed ballet flatty loafer, specifically a very structured heeled loafer. And the heel is about like two centimeters or maximum four centimeters high. So pretty sturdy. And I would go for a block 
square heel that would be the most trendy option and also a square toe if possible one of the brands that are doing this perfectly actually at the moment is Prada they're just doing their best in the loafer department in the heel loafer department and I would definitely pair them with, with anything with knits with knitwear with like knit ensembles with skirts with dresses with jeans for sure and if you pair these with jeans I would definitely go for the easy option like a shirt and a blazer or like a knit or a knit dress whatever you want to pair them with they would work because they have the structure in themselves that creates a look so you don't need necessarily something specific to pair them with because they're so complete in themselves that they create a look they make or break a look and in this case they do definitely make a look the next thing for shoes is not necessarily like a specific shoe but a type of a finish of a shoe and this one's patent leather everything so that would be boots that would be loafers that would be ballet flats anything and everything that's patent leather is very in at the moment and with patent leather the rule i would definitely go for is only one thing patent leather for a look so don't go overboard because patent leather is just like sugar when you put too much sugar is beautiful sugar is very tasty and i love sugar and sugary things but when you put too much sugar in a lock oh well, well, no 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 in a dish it becomes just like too sugary and not necessarily really tasty so it's all about balance and in here it's absolutely the same i always notice i compare food to styling just too much i think it happens all the time and specifically this like sugar and uh, spices and salt metaphor all the time just just let me know if that's just too much for you so what i'm saying is patent leather is beautiful but there needs to be some balance to a look with patent leather so we definitely specifically because patent leather is so patent and also so light reflecting i would go for something very matte to pair it with so for example like a knit or a jean or a pants something that's going to kind of take the lightness and brightness and not reflect so much light compared to the patent leather and in comparison to this matte fabric patent leather is going to stand out much more and look much more cohesive and the look is going to look more interesting and less flat if you know what i mean so i would go for like a patent, patent leather boot and then a matte beautiful tight knit you know skirt knit skirt or knit dress and then a jacket or a blazer and i would not necessarily pair patent leather with leather in a look or just too much leather in a look or i would actually go for a different colored leather if you want some more leather in the look so for example the patent boot is going to be black but the for example like um like the back is going would be better to be in a chocolatey brown or a matte milky white or off-white color for the look not to look too concentrated with like leather because leather and patent leather are just too close for my liking specifically but you do what you feel like is best for you we have a couple more trends for shoes this season and one more one i like absolutely is colorful sneakers oh. Colorful sneakers are so beautiful. They create a statement in a look. They are absolutely not arguably comfortable. They go with absolutely everything. So you can pair colorful sneakers with like um, track suit or with a jean or even with a knit dress or in its skirt. And it's going to create some balance for styling because obviously sneakers are sporty element in a look. So if you want to have some balance and depth to a look in terms of style, you would definitely go for something that's kind of not necessarily like a polar opposite for a classical thing in a look but something to spice it up so for example if you have a blazer a shirt and a jean you definitely need something non-classical in a look for it to look more deep and beautiful and not like not so obvious so we definitely go for a colorful sneaker in this case and they would look uh, more relaxed more french je ne sais quoi and obviously more comfortable than for example like a heel and the last trend for this video is going to be shearling lined everything so whatever kind of a shoe you have in mind 
just line with with a shearling and buy it and wear it and it's going to be absolutely amazing so you can go for clogs you can go for loafers you can go for mules specifically for this like transitional period when it's not too cold you can definitely go for this like sock and a shearling line mule kind of a look paired with like a maxi or a midi straight skirt with a knit oh it's going to be so, so cozy and beautiful and stylish and layered and just absolutely amazing. And definitely for the colder months, you can go for shearling line boots, shearling line loafers, shearling line whatever. And specifically when I'm talking about shearling line loafers, one thing I have in mind is Chanel shearling line loafers, just to give you an example. And with those, you can definitely also wear some thick socks. So this even though those are specifically like the type of a shoe is loafer which is not necessarily something very cold or wintery related because of the shearling lining it's going to be actually pretty comfortable pretty warm for the colder months so you can definitely if you're not one to go for boots if you're not usually the type of a person who likes wintery shoes and very warm shoes definitely think of something shearling lined that's not necessarily explicitly and specifically you know wintery so like a loafer and that's going to be look beautiful with like a skirt so there's going to be some layering so like a huge chunky loafer shearling lined and then there's a sock and then there's a skirt and also that's going to look beautiful with some knit dresses knit skirts also obviously some jeans and also I know this is going to be a very different opinion for different people, but I would pair, and I love, love pairing classical items just like loafers with something unexpected, and I would go for track pants. And that's going to be a beautiful look. And pair that with like a long sleeve and say an oversized blazer, and you get a very cute, beautiful, comfortable, everyday, sporty, chic look for a lot of occasions actually you can go for a meeting like that you can kind of go for casual friday like that you can go on a date like that you can walk around like that you can go grocery shopping like that so there's a lot of options and the look is beautiful and i absolutely adore pairing polar opposites in terms of style together because they create this beautiful interesting depth in a look which doesn't usually happen when you just mix up the same style over and over again in one look it's just too flat for me for my personal liking let me know in the comments below which one of the shoe trends is your favorite and also obviously let me know which topics would you like to see on this channel which direction do you see this channel going into i've skipped this fashion week actually because i was not really feeling well health wise and we also were traveling from lisbon to kiev but i'm I'm definitely thinking and planning on going to the next fashion week which is going to be happening in the end of winter beginning of spring so let me know if that's something you would like to see more about like the prep work and uh, like you know fashion week diary etc etc it's a long time coming but anyway just let me know if you think this would be a good topic for you and you are interested in that one and also other topics you think are villain for, for this channel for you specifically and uh, with that I think that's it for this video let me know in the comments below which one of the shoe trends is your favorite and why and see you in next video bye